Oh, evening all, Pete Turner here. I thought I'd uh, just give you a quick update on life at the moment because um, I'm really busy at present with the job. Um, I'm working as an IT head of operations uh, contractor for a company in Nottingham. Uh, so the first three months I'm doing full time uh, for this role. And then after three months, I go down to three days a week, um, still heading up operations and infrastructure there. So tomorrow we start the house at Coke Street in Barnsley completes and uh, we're full on with the renovation there. So I, I'll, um, I'll probably link the YouTube to the to the first video that I took at Coke Street. It's got some interest in decorating, pretty psychedelic from the 70s. So uh, I think you'll enjoy the, the decor and the carpets and everything. And um, yeah, so the skip, skips are arriving on Monday and Adris is stripping out the, the wallpaper. Craig's on site stripping out the plaster for the damp proofing and uh, taking out all of the storage heaters and everything. Uh, for me as well next week so next week's a big strip out week then the uh, 27th neil starts the cellar um tankings it's a two bed terrace we're making it into a four bed terrace by splitting up the massive bedroom upstairs into two doubles and uh, creating um by tanking the cellar creating bedroom four down there so we're also changing the window down there to make it look nicer and uh, renovating and modernising the house. So, um, so yeah, Craig's in there stripping out with address uh, next week. And then 27th, Neil starts the tanking in the cellar and he's going to plaster the rest and damp proof. So we'll tank the cellar, damp proof all the walls upstairs using tanking slurry and then plaster every wall once address has stripped it all off. So at that point, we'll have a really nice stripped out plastered house. So then uh, Craig is going to build the new wall in the in the top bedroom. And he's going to sort out the window in the cellar. And um, <clears throat> James is on site in the week commencing the 3rd of March to put the new heating system in. So it's got storage heaters at the moment. And then... So then we'll have a damp proofed house, cellar will be tanked, everywhere will be plastered. Then there'll be a new heating system in. At that point, Craig and Casey will be putting the new kitchens, bathrooms in. Um, so they'll be really nice. And, um, and then Andy is going over on the 20th of March to finish all the decorating. Our Brad's going in around the 27th, 3rd of March as well to put a new electric board in and uh, get all the electrics and new sockets in the bedroom. So I'm hoping that by the end of April, the house will be complete. It'll go from a two bed terrace to a four bed terrace. The numbers are 70 grand purchase price, 30 grand all in, including all the fees, legal fees and refurb taking us to a hundred thousand and then I'm hoping to sell the house on a flip for a hundred and forty to a hundred and fifty thousand so I'm hoping the market recovers a little bit towards the summer but it'll be a really big nice four bed terraced house in the centre of Barnsley by then so it'll either be a good investment property for somebody or a really nice family house for them so that's the current plan so we start that work from tomorrow Craig's on site tomorrow. I've also got the survey at Parker Street tomorrow. Um, so that will be the the, um, the finalising the sale on Parker Street at the moment. So that should be good. And then um, Dodworth, Pete Selby's talking about buying me out of that project because he wants to, uh, to get more money for it. So I'm hoping to release the funds for Parker Street, Dodworth and coke street by the middle of the year and have all the funds back in the bank account ready for a new project so that's the current plan um three months on the job first so i'm three weeks in so there's another nine weeks full time and then a year three days a week so i'll be able to project manage monday and friday for the properties and my chicken farm so i've got 24 chickens now 
and they're bringing in 10 eggs a day so that's quite exciting as well so yeah everything's going pretty well um if you need any help with anything reach out to me and uh, it's probably time you turn around your property futures and i'll speak to you soon bye for now